<laughs> Hello guys, Better Trends is back and today I'll be discussing for you how did I solve my Google AdSense error which is missing required payment details and I cannot redirect to my YouTube host all right so actually guys um i started to apply monetization last may 16 and then i was stuck in step two which is the setting up my google adsense actually i really don't have any google adsense account but the problem is during my application i used to have in progress and then error in progress and then error and this is the main reason why i was stuck in my step two application every time there's an error i used to um i used to choose no i didn't have an adsense account but if you already choose no i didn't have an adsense account for the very first time it means google adsense will make you a google adsense and if you have error the next time you shouldn't say again no i don't have a google adsense because they already made you one and that is the biggest error that i have because I have four times error in my Google Ads and setup, and then there was a time that I'm too uh, upset. Like, oh, I need to work on this. I need to follow some YouTubers' um, idea on how to solve my Google AdSense. And then this is the biggest mistake that I ever had. Because when I was browsing on YouTube and looking for some videos that has the same problem like I have before that I used to encounter errors in my Google AdSense application, I was um, interested to follow a video from one of the YouTubers. I forgot who made the video. I was just trying to browse and most of those videos says I need to um, close my payments profile so I can access back and make a new AdSense. But that was the biggest mistake I ever had because this is my biggest um, mistake because it caused me to have an error that was stuck for long months like three months long and if you don't want to have the same problem like I did before like my Google Adsense application was stuck for three months then do not close your payments profile if your Google Adsense is not yet approved so if you're still trying to apply for a google adsense make sure that you only choose no i don't have an adsense account on the very first try of the application if you get an error if your step to monetization is put into in progress after you said no i didn't have an adsense account then it means the google adsense team is making you your google adsense and if you have the error the second time, do not choose no, I didn't have a Google AdSense because it will cause the Google AdSense to make a new, um, to make a duplicate Google AdSense and this will cause much trouble. And how did I solve it? Oh, the very first thing that I did was I tried to post my problem in the YouTube help community. Actually, I was pertaining to Google AdSense help, but platinum expert replied to me that this is from the youtube help community and then he tried to assist me with my concerns so i tried to explain and then um it helped me move fast to my queries like oh he knows how to handle my he knows how to handle my problem and then he tried to forward me to somebody who is from the Google Ads and Steam and then I was assisted by Piggy K, the name Piggy K Expert. And then um, Piggy K also helped me a lot on how to close my other account and then he or she was the one who forwarded me to the YouTube Partner Support Team so when i was assisted by the youtube partner support team they asked some informations about me like what was my email address valid id to prove that i own the google adsense that i'm trying to open and then that's it so it took me um maybe one month for them to figure out what was really my problem for the first month of asking them to help me close my AdSense and use the AdSense of my fiancé, um, 
they tried to tell me you should open first the Google AdSense that was linked to your channel before you can use the AdSense of your fiancé. So with that, I was trying to think what was the email address that was used to link Google AdSense account. I really don't know. Like I tried many times to open googleadsense.com and then try to log in using I tried many times to log into Google AdSense using all of the email address that I have but I failed to open the AdSense that was linked to my YouTube channel and that was because my channel was linked to a previous Google AdSense and then I added a new Google AdSense that's, that's annoying like in one account you couldn't have two or more Google AdSense so it was so frustrating and what I did after a month after um, the one who supported me in the YouTube partner support was Gwen and then sometimes Chris assisted me and also Janelle so they were the one who assisted me with my problem and then the only thing that I love the most is that they are trying to to communicate with me and all the queries that I have. I don't care if it took a month or more than a month talking about my Google AdSense. At least they feel that I'm too eager to, you know, um, recover my Google AdSense account. And then I tried to close the AdSense account that was also linked to my YouTube channel. So the AdSense account that was linked to my YouTube channel was two. The other one is the Google AdSense that I cannot open. And then the other Google AdSense is the one that I can open, but is saying I have already a Google AdSense account. So I closed this Google AdSense account that is saying I have another AdSense account so I just need to use the old AdSense account so I closed the AdSense account and then I was trying to recover the AdSense account that is always beeping that I have this AdSense so that's it um, I tried to talk to one of the YouTube help team or the YouTube partner support team and then they requested me to send um, personal details like when did i made this account what year what month who are the admins of this account and then they asked me a valid or photo of my id and then they're trying to check my birthday my address my full name and then after sending all of these documents they were able to find out that I really own the Google AdSense account that I'm trying to recover but the problem is you should know that even though Google AdSense seems already find out that you really own this Google AdSense account they are still trying to keep your account safe like if you have an email address they're going to give you a hint that this is the email address that is linked to this Google AdSense account and then the good thing is they give me a hint and then they added me to the admins they invited they sent me an email like an invitation that i can log in and then i can link myself to the adsense account so yeah i receive an email i receive an email from the google adsense and it's like saying you need to click this link and then you need to log in using your email address you need to verify that it's really you and then once you're able to log in it means you're able to link your email address to this adsense account and after that i was able to open and i was able to see that yes um this is really the google adsense that i have the lucky thing is the email address that is registered to my YouTube channel is a different email address that is linked on my Google AdSense account. So, example, if your email address that is being used to make your YouTube channel is choseline.com and then your email address that is being linked to your Google AdSense is joy.com so it means you were using two different emails. So what I did is I also tried to 
put an invite on the email address that is also the email address that I'm using in my YouTube channel. I tried to invite the email address and then I received a link or an email that I should um, click this link so I can have an access to this Google AdSense account. And after that, after that, um, I tried to log in click the link and then i tried to log in and then i was able to open the google adsense i was able to open the google adsense and then i tried to check the monetization page of my youtube channel so if you have the same thing um the same problem like it was not refreshed fully then you need to open the google adsense you need to open the google adsense you need to open the google adsense using the first email that the youtube partner support team sent you so if i was using the joy.com email so i tried to open google adsense using the joy.com and then i tried to make my other email address be one of the admins so i just click on there was a kind of a part a part of the email address using the accounts you can see in the accounts access and authorization in the access and authorization you can see the email address that is linked to this google adsense and then i tried to make the choselin.com be one of the admins that has full access to the google adsense and then after I did that, I tried to refresh. I tried to refresh my Google AdSense and then I tried to refresh my YouTube monetization page. And finally, I have linked my AdSense account. And that's so great. That's, that's how I did, guys. It was just too simple. But I made myself so complicated in the first three months. But at least I'm so happy that I am in the step three, you know. Uh, this is very great because it's it's been a while that i'm longing to be you know part of the youtube partner and then it sounds amazing that i'll be waiting for 30 days because youtube will review my videos and after reviewing my videos if they couldn't see any mistakes or they couldn't see any violations in the youtube partner policies so i'll be approved and that's just how i did it it was just too simple but i made myself so complicated so for those who are still wondering how did i make it up like how did i make my youtube channel be um, successful in my step to error which is missing required payments and i cannot redirect to my host the only thing you need to do is you need to post your error in the youtube help community tell them about how did it come up why did it happen so again this is bit the trends and please do click like and subscribe to my channel please support me guys your likes and your subscribes are the ones that boosting me up to post more of the videos that you will like also please um do not forget that being part of the youtube partner program is something like a treasure if you already if you're already part of the YPP or the YouTube Partner Program, you take care of it because it's it's like it's like one of the dreams that most others wanted to have that they aren't having right now. Just like I did, I am super eager to be part of the YouTube Partner Program, and I wanted to um, be. Um, be seen in the whole world i wanted to be seen in the whole world because i really love to talk and i really love to talk about anything else so that's it so again this is Peter the trend see you